This week we built the world's fastest shopping cart with a 120 horsepower sport bike engine, two powered rear axles, a children's go-kart, and a dream. Whoa, get out, get out! So water's coming out? Yeah, a little water's coming out the exhaust, but this thing is a beast. This thing's premium, so it's gonna It sounds work. like it. Teamwork. I've twisted some wires together. I managed to get some spark. That was a flame if I ever seen it. I think what you should do, Will, is rather than try to run it off brake clean, because it's clearly going to fire at least. It's going to fire. I would find a <laughs> gas receptacle and All right. hook this up so it's got actual All right. gasoline in the carburetors. Oh yeah. Yeah, that ran on whatever brake clean was in it. That's, you know, that's honestly surprising given how much of this wiring harness isn't here. That is glorious. Ethan's leaving us unattended for a whole week with this engine, a shopping cart, and a dream. Mm -hmm. The answer is the carbs need to be clean because they're yeah. it didn't even this fuel isn't yeah, even in the carbs. First up, we need to cut the shopping cart so that we can get it onto here and start mocking up where everything's gonna be. Next, we need to mock up where the shopping cart is gonna go because we want it to look as much like a shopping cart and not a go-kart as possible. I think we'll take this off, this off, fit it on there, and see what we need to make longer to make that engine fit in here while keeping as much of the shopping cart intact as possible. Once we started looking at this, it's so much smaller than we thought it was going to be. Like, I, I've never really looked at a shopping cart that much, but this thing is tiny. Very, very nice. Something's very soothing about just cutting apart a shopping cart. It's, it's therapeutic. <laughs> Here's the plan. We got to cut these off so we can fit more tubing over it so we can extend the entire length because we're going to have CBR 900, Civic Radiator, Axle Axle. We bolted on the go-kart frame yeah. to try to guess how much longer we need to make the frame Seat about there, CBR 900. And then I busted out the, what is this called? <laughs> the tape measure. The measuring tape. And the CBR engine is like another 16 inches. So that's already right there where the CBR engine has to sit. And then we have to go back at least to 20 to fit an axle. No. And then we have to go at least to 24 to fit another one. Yeah, for that in that space. We have to go like 24 inches. Look how long this is, guys. Let's just bring it over and see, because we need to make it shorter than that. Can for we even strong. bring it over? Ethan just set it on that table, and I, I tried to lift it up, yeah. and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Will and I can't even pick it up together. <laughs> and we but have to get it here. That's on wheels. This is on wheels. We'll figure it we'll out. We'll have to do a transfer. This is Ethan's Loft, where I sleep, and talk about our sponsor today, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service, and it's 100% online. 
With Better Hope, you can tap in to a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists. To get started, just fill out a few questions and they'll get you set up with the therapist that best suits your needs. This is how I keep my loft warm. And with BetterHelp, you can talk to your therapist any way that is convenient to you, whether that be phone call, video chat, or text message. If your therapist isn't right for you for any reason, you can switch with no additional cost. If you like the idea of more options and flexibility when it comes to therapy, check out BetterHelp. To be honest, I don't really know how to start a fire, but I do know you can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash GHP. That's betterhelp.com slash GHP. All right, let's get back to the shopping cart. Oh, I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you. So we've got everything mocked up, and um, I would say that this is looking pretty premium, if you ask me. The most deadly contraption. Brush. At Grind Hard, which is scary to say, but I would say a CBR 900 engine with a shopping cart and like one brake <laughs> is very frightening. And I think the reason that all the other shopping carts look so janky online, is because... Jank. Jank. Four by six? Awesome. Premium. <laughs> yes. And it's actually gonna be four wheel drive. The plan is to heat some tube up that's almost the right diameter and just wham, wham, wham. Get it on there and it will be on there for life. Obviously we're gonna weld it too. I've seen Ethan do it once and it worked. He just really had to put the force, all his force into it, which worries me because I saw that man carry this engine and I don't think I have that much force. When you said you were gonna heat up the bars with the stove, I thought you were gonna put them on top right here. No, I'm cooking them. <laughs> like a blacksmith, dude. Yeah, you are blacksmithing them. I wanna see that bad girl go on. That looks hot. It is. <laughs> it is melting. Okay, step one. Lubrication. Uh-huh. Pull it out of the stove. Yep. Get the ash out of it. Burning you a little bit. You just come over here. <laughs> you just wear a Slide glove, dude. that bad boy on. Uh -huh. Okay, it's sliding. Yep. Oh, it just goes right off. It's still going, dude. You can get it all the way. Easy all the way. <laughs> We're on there now. That's how you do it without a lathe. <laughs> I think you need a bigger hammer. It takes so much effort, dude. So we are going to um, scrounge up some headers from the woods. This is my favorite location to look for parts. And I think I remember seeing some uh, back here somewhere. If we don't have the headers, then we... Oh! Don't step there, bro. <laughs> This is starting to seem like a bad idea. I know. <laughs> but I'm not gonna give Ethan the satisfaction of telling him that it is a bad idea. So we're just gonna put the CBR 900 engine in this thing. Yeah. And go. I've made a whole bunch of tubes to extend the frame, and I forgot that we made this six inches longer than it should be. So I made all the tubes for this too, but they've gotta be altered slightly to um, bring this back, or it's just gonna be a super long banana machine. So I'm gonna weld all this stuff, make sure it's straight, so that we have a really solid starting point on where the engine's gonna be mounted, and then we'll bring it over here, get the engine in, start making some mounts, and figure out how short we can actually make this because right now it's huge. It's like the size of a F-150. We gotta make it a little smaller.
just propped the engine up. It wasn't easy. It was kind of interesting, and so we tacked our mounts, uh, the thing the engine is resting on right now, to the frame, because it was kind of like sliding around, and it was just kind of very sketchy. Finger smasher for trillion right there. CBR 900 engine, yeet. That would suck. So, uh, so this is rendition one motor mount, and it's not strong at all, but the idea was to go under all this stuff and go here and um yeah i'm just showing you guys my mistakes as we go because you know if you try to do this you might run into some problems the next idea is to make a triangle which is a lot stronger got the right triangle shape going and then i use the piranha and chop this out i'm putting some dimples in here to lighten it up a little bit and make it stronger as well. It's been a journey, but we're getting somewhere. This is like the hardest part of the whole thing. So, you know, just working through it one step at a time and we're making progress. try to use the rogue fab bender but i've never used it in real life i've watched ethan do it like a million times i built the bottom mounts i'm gonna gusset from here to there make the lower mount strong and then we're gonna take a tube and bend it hopefully up and around and down on both sides and tie it in with a bar right here <laughs> I made a bend. talked about making a little hoop that just went up like this and bent around but this is great because now we don't have to gusset the frame because we're supported with a triangle all the way to the back which makes it super strong and adds a little safety which i think we need this is the anti-banana angle for right now i'm gonna get these mounted up and start building mounts for the top of the engine <laughs> Gonna be cutting this up to make this back piece and finish up the shopping cart appearance and i'm thinking that well i was thinking a couple things edwin because at first i wanted to just weld it into the frame uh-huh but now i'm realizing we can't do that because we have these two bars back here and we have this bar back here and if we do that the engine won't be able to come out 
ever again. Ooh. So I'm thinking what I am gonna do is make some notches on that and make it unboltable. So it bolts on and you can just unbolt it and remove the engine because at some point we're gonna need to remove this engine. Whoa, get out, get out! Yeah. Um. I like your ringtone, my guy. <laughs> Thanks. It's very soothing. I'm thinking we can repurpose this as our seat belt, Edwin. Yep, that's nice. That's super safe, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is how we're gonna remove the engine. Seat out, four bolts, yeet. And then you take the carb out and you just unbolt all the bolts here. And the engine goes yoink. Right out, dude. Yeah. And then we can rebuild it or add a turbo. Uh-huh. It's kind of like a hood on a car. I think it needs a turbo. I think it does too. I mean, and look how snug this thing is. It in looks here. pretty slow as is. Yeah. It needs a turbo. It's gonna be really slow. <laughs> but the good thing about this now, like I can yeah. shake the whole thing. And yeah. that's gonna be tied to the whole front end. This bar now that this is in mm -hmm. this is the full concept to reality you have your driver mm -hmm. what we haven't talked about yet is this shopping cart whoa is going to be able to have a passenger that stands right there and it pushes the cart yep and we're gonna add we're gonna add these wheelie bars with the original OEM yep. shopping cart wheels, dude. And if you break down, look, I can just push you like a skateboard. <laughs> I wonder what this design would look like in a wind tunnel. Tonight is a super duper exciting night because we've got hubs and we've got sprockets and I'm gonna be working on the components that make this whole thing go. So we've got a lot going on right now. I built the gussets for the engine mounts and this stuff looks strong. I don't think it's going anywhere. We've got a gusset down here. We've got a gusset up there. Now we're moving on to making the seat brackets. I'm gonna take a bar and I'm gonna go from this rail right here to this rail. And then I'm just gonna screw straight down into them basically. Um, I might even weld a bolt through. And so then you can just put a little nut on it and Before Ethan went on vacation, Will and I went through and ordered all the parts we thought we would need. And when Ethan was building this, he stole our rotor. He stole it. <laughs> so we're stealing back what's rightfully ours. We're taking our rotor back. I'm going to install a dog door in the side of Ethan's shed so I can crawl in and out of here <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to demonstrate how to shift it yet because it's smoldering right now, but 
this is premium, let me show you. This goes off of this little mount on the original go-kart, and then I'm just gonna drill and tap that, put a screw through it so that doesn't slide out. And then we've got this really long linkage, and I didn't have any other like pipe in here that would work. I would have liked to make this a little thicker, so I just welded these two pieces of shopping cart together and uh, put a 10 millimeter socket right here. Oh! <laughs> so that holds tension on this while you go to shift and it comes back at, to an adjustable nut right here that uh, hooks up to the shift linkage where the bike would be, where your foot would be usually on a motorcycle. So um, yeah. It's premium, and once that cools off, we can see if my theory actually works, but I think it should. <laughs> Just throw some gloves on, dude. Dude, yeah, actually. All right, let's see if this works. Oh! <laughs> dude, it does work. And then this will be our throttle, this will be our brake, and then... Oh, dude! <laughs> <laughs> and this bearing does still spin, dude, so it's like nice on your hand. Nice. Nice. Wah, wah, wah. Six gear. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I just can't believe how much we got done in a week, dude. Yeah. We built this whole cart <laughs> in a week. Yeah. <laughs> Which is awesome. So the guys are finally back and we haven't sent them anything. This is like a super big surprise. And honestly, I think they're gonna be pretty, I think they're gonna be in shock. Cause Ethan was saying that he was thinking it was just gonna be a pile of parts when he gets back. And it, if I've ever seen something that isn't a pile of parts, it's this thing right here. Oh. All right, are you ready? <coughs> yeah. Ready. It's definitely ready. <laughs> Good. Oh, All right. Oh, hey, yo. See. That's looking like a thing. Wow. <laughs> it is a thing. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Wait, so you custom made this entire section? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> That's premium. Nice. I, yeah. I appreciate the million and one dimple dice, although yep. that, that weld didn't exactly work <laughs> as planned, I think. No, it didn't. That's <laughs> when I was welding with Argon, and I called Ethan, and I'm like, this isn't working right yeah. at he all. He called me, while, like, for the five minutes I had service in Hawaii, he was like, so... I switched the bottles and it's not welding right. I was like, yeah, that's because that's pure argon. That does not work for me. Yeah. Um, and that was the day I was like literally going over the entire frame to re like weld nice. it. So I had to do it again with the real um, dude, This is fun. Yeah, so, you know, not bad. <clears throat> this is not gonna stay. No. That bolt is way too small. Yeah, it's that's just what gonna I would say. Yeah, ye ye the first time you like really wrap the throttle yeah. or, or mm -hmm. whack the brakes. Have you planned for exhaust? No, not yet. We're okay. thinking kind of wrap around. Yeah, yeah. around the sides. Yeah, yeah split we had it. To cut it, but four to two, probably. Yeah. yeah. Sounds we good. Need to do the clearancing here so that the tires don't yeah. hit, and then we gotta find that spacer. Dude, that is baller. Yeah. 
That is the most ballerous thing I've ever heard. Did you see it spitting flames? Yeah. And when you first so started it, the amount of rust that just went douche. That half that rust is in my lungs from all the, that stuff, dude. <laughs> that is so sick. It sounds like a little chopper, dude. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now we just need to figure out a quench. Wow, that gets hot fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should make sure that- That's insane. And to anyone really wondering why the entire engine looks like it's going to catch on fire, it's just moisture. Okay, just a little moisture. There is gas on there, but I, it's just the moisture all over the engine. Wait, this is gas? Yeah, all over, everything. How does that happen? <laughs> I don't know. Are you ready for this, Will? I am ready. I don't know, we, I honestly don't know what it is, so. We asked our designer to make something just for you. You've just been a premium part of the channel for a long Not. time. And so, we're doing a limited run. There's only 140 available, but, Oh, that is so premium! <laughs> that is the most premium nice. thing. I'm never gonna wear that shirt. I'll ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> These are on our so right ranked. now, but I really don't think they'll last long. This is the lowest number we've ever released. Oh. We're just gonna ramp it down like nothing ever happened. Oh. <laughs> Pull it this way, we mess up all that tech ride. Right? Ah! Oh! The garage door's a little jammed. It's never gonna close again. I'm gonna let it just, go. Just feather it, don't let it go. Just give it a little feather. There you go. Nice. The clutch works very well, actually. She's on the ground. Oh my gosh, this ground clearance is oh. brutal, dude. Damn. For real. You actually putting on some uh, protective I'm putting gear? on all the gear. We have a fire extinguisher. We have uh, you guys with the hose. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we have about a quarter inch of ground clearance. I don't know how to tell if I am in neutral. <laughs> okay, that's definitely not neutral. Secondary chain is. I didn't see that. This but... one going like this. That's oh. gonna last two seconds. <laughs> He's going way too fast. <laughs> Dude, it's actually doing really well. <laughs> it's actually doing so it's well. Like really good, but it concerns me how fast he's going with zero suspension. Caught on fire. I don't know. Here, turn off all this to the fuel pump. What did it look like? I it couldn't was... even feel. It. I just felt it, like hot air just go. <laughs> Dude. No, oh, no. Oh no. So I was looking at this and I was like, wow, there's a lot of oil in there. Well, it turns out that we blew a hole through our junkyard CBR 900 engine. Just a good, nice piece of piston is coming out there. Right there. It's bigger than your your tip of your finger. I could stick my whole finger, whole pinky down in there. Oh. oh. We didn't even get to take it on the street. Not even on the street. And it blew. But this thing 
I built this engine to come out. Remember when I was talking about yeah. that earlier? I figured we'd make it more than one driveway lap. Oh, How dude. How is it that close to blowing? <laughs> I don't know. Do you think something got in it when we were working? No. 120 horsepower shopping cart. And this happened. And this happens, dude. I knew there had to be something wrong when the when I felt that hot air hit me. But it was still running. Yeah. When we pulled in, fine. No problem. I bet she'd go like that for miles. I bet so, dude. <gasps> oh! No! Oh. Uh, I think we got some shreckage. That's not the same shape as the hole. No, the shape on the, that is really small. <laughs> this one's a big boy, dude. <laughs> we found him. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, I felt something hit the back of my seat, but I figured it was just a rock. Dude. Oh, the piston's gone. <gasps> no. We're done. This engine is done. We're I can't done. even feel the rod, but I can feel a cylinder wall and it's really scored. We finally made something that worked and it blew up so quick. And that's not even our fault. No, we didn't do anything. We couldn't, we literally changed the oil. It might just start because I drove it over here. I yeah. didn't even know something was wrong. So it exploded. You still gave it RPMs before yeah. getting here. I think it might. It's going to catch on fire, but it. No. I've never seen anything run after throwing out a nice Rots. chunk of piston. Well, mm. rebuild time. How much power do you think it makes with three cylinders? 